Okay. In this video, we are going to be looking at three integrals. The methods we will be using are important for us, those of us who are going to take the P3 exams, the Pure Max Paper 3 exams of the CIE A levels. Okay? So let's start with the first integral. In part A, we have to find the integral of ln x plus 2. This is log of x plus 2 to base e. And we are going to integrate this with respect to x. We will use the techniques um, that we've learned before. In this particular case, the technique we're using is by parts. Okay? So let me write down the by parts formula. We have u dv equals to uv minus v du. This is the famous by parts formula. u dv equals uv minus v du. So if we are going to use by parts in any problem involving logs, this log function is going to be your u. So let's write u equals to ln x plus 2. So what's left becomes dv. So I have dv equals dx. Good. So on this side we have to differentiate. So we can write du equals 1 over x plus 2 dx. On this side we have to integrate. So v equals to x. Now using the by parts formula so this is uv so let's draw an arrow here so let's write x ln x plus 2 minus v du 1 over x plus 2 dx okay so now we can write x ln x plus 2 minus x over x plus 2 dx. Now, when you look at this integral x over x plus 2, what jumps out at you is that the numerator is of degree 1 and the denominator is of degree 1. So, what you can do is you can do long division and simplify this and then integrate or you can write what I'm going to write down. So I'm going to add 2 and minus 2. Okay, so what have, I, what have I done? To the numerator I've just added 2 and taken off 2 so I've not changed anything. So this one becomes x ln x plus 2 minus we have, let me write it down, Okay, so I'm just sorting out the algebra. I have x plus 2 over x plus 2 and this is minus 2 over x plus 2. So let's keep an eye on this line at the bottom while I erase this. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Okay, so this one here you notice, this is 1. So I can write, okay, let me bring this arrow up. I have x ln x plus 2 minus 1 minus 2 over x plus 2 dx. Okay, so I'm just rewriting this line up here so that we have a lot of space. Okay, great. We're almost done. So what we have here is x ln x plus 2. When you integrate 1 with respect to x, we will get x. And here I have minus when you integrate this, you will get minus 2 ln x plus 2. And then, of course, you have a plus c. So let's clean up. We are done. We just want to clean up our answers. So I have x ln x plus 2 minus x plus 2 ln x plus 2 plus c. You can leave your answer like this or 
you can do with factorizing. I have ln x plus 2 and I have x plus 2 minus x plus c. So you can write your final answer as x plus 2 ln x plus 2 minus x plus c. And we are done. Okay. In part B, we are going to use u equals to x plus 1. This is the substitution recommended to find, okay, to find this integral x over x plus 1 squared dx. Let's start with the substitution, substitution okay, in a problem that involves algebraic substitution. We always start with the substitution. So let's write it down. What do we do next? We differentiate. So we have du dx equals to 1. Therefore, we know that dx equals du. Just bring the dx up. Okay? You can go to this line directly from here by writing du equals to dx. Great. Keep in mind, if u equals to x plus 1, then you know that x equals to u minus 1. You're going to use that. So let's come back to our integral. x over x plus 1 squared dx. What is x? u minus 1. Let's write that down. x plus 1 is u. We have u squared. What is dx? du. Almost done. Okay? So u minus 1 over u squared. We can write this as u over u squared minus 1 over u squared du. Okay? u over u squared minus 1 over u squared. So this becomes 1 over u minus, let me write this in index form, bring the 2 up. Okay? And we have du. Okay? So I'm going to erase this line. I need the space so that you can follow. Okay. So 1 over u, <coughs> excuse me, 1 over u you can integrate. Okay? Let me write it here you will get ln u, u to the power of minus 2 increased by 1, okay, when you increase by 1 this becomes minus 1, bring it down, so let me write it here, there is a minus plus c, okay, integrate this using your basic integration formula and you will get u to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 and now we can write our answers down. Okay, so I'm going to get ln u plus 1 over u plus c. Don't forget the c though, yeah? that's the constant of integration. So now let's write the variable in the question, which is x. So I have ln x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 plus c, and we are done. Part C, we are integrating sine squared x over 3 with respect to x. What's the first thing you want to pick up? You cannot integrate sine squared directly. So we are going to use our double angle formulas. So we know that cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. We know that formula. Therefore, cos 2 over 3x, let me write that again, will be equals to 1 minus 2 sine squared x over 3. This angle is always twice this angle. So cos 2 over 3x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x over 3. Therefore, sine squared x over 3 will be equals to 1 minus cos 2 over 3x, the whole thing divided by 
2. Okay? I'm making sine squared x over 3 the subject of this formula. So bring it to the uh, left hand side. So you get 1 minus cos 2 over 3 x, the whole thing divided by 2. Okay? So now let's bring that in. Sine squared x over 3, we can write it as 1 minus cos 2 over 3 x, the whole thing over 2 dx. Next, I want to bring the half outside, so I can write it as 1 minus cos 2 over 3x dx. So there's a half outside, when you integrate 1, you will get x. The formula we'll be using when you integrate cos kx with respect to x, you will get 1 over k sine kx plus c. Okay? So we'll have 3 over 2, <coughs> 3 over 2, sine 2 over 3 x, and then we have a plus c. Okay? When you integrate cos kx, remember it's 1 over k sine kx. So this is cos 2 over 3 x. So when you integrate cos, you will get sine, but don't forget you to divide by 2 over 3. When you divide by 2 over 3, it becomes 3 over 2. So our final answer, a half x minus 3 over 4 sine 2 over 3x plus c and we are done.